Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome to an oxygen not included update video where today we are going to be going through and talking the most recent brand new update to auction not included that not only added new story modes to allow you to do even more with fresh new start games but they also added some new room types new stations and all sorts of other things so in this video we're going to be going through all the updates that have most recently come out for auction not included as well as we're going to be going over how to build the brand new room type the kitchen and how to access those story modes so let's start off with the kitchen shall we so the kitchen right here this is my kitchen i went ahead and built it now it doesn't need the crown molding or the light but i thought it made it look nice so i went ahead and went with that now if you guys want to go ahead and make one of these what you're going to need is a relatively small room you're going to need it to be 12 either 12 tiles all the way up to 96 tiles so not too large you're gonna need a spice grinder which is the newest building that got added to the game the newest workstation that got added to the game you're also going to need an electric gill grill or a gas range a refrigerator and make sure you don't add a mess table now you can see that i've added a couple decorations in here to increase the decoration score of this room so that way when you're dupes are working in here they're not getting that negative morale bonus for being around an ugly room but hey what's a we have this built over here now a couple of things you're going to need to do in order to unlock this first things first inside of the research tree you are going to need to unlock the spice grinder by going through and getting food repurposing in order to get food repurposing you will need a tier 2 scientist and you will need the tier 2 research station the supercomputer in order to unlock it and it's actually not that bad it's only four in in order to unlock the spice grinder what the spice grinder does is it produces ingredients that add benefits to your foods prepared and by skilled cooking stations okay so here's the thing guys you need to go through and make one of these and then you also need to go through and make food to walk you guys through really quick how it works when you build it you're going to need to choose a different spice we'll get into that in a second but you're going to need to choose a different spice you go through and there's four different spices right here at the top. You have freshener spice that keeps food um, from decomposing as quickly. Rocketeer spice, which produce, which boosts piloting. Then you have brawny spice, which even weakens, strengthens the weakest muscles. More or less, it improves strength. And then finally, you have the mechanist spice that literally goes through and increases their operating skill. So these all four are possibly very powerful spices for you to put on food but you need to put prepared food or regular food onto it for it actually to be spiced so if you look down here you can actually see the different foods that i can put on there right now from lettuce to meal lice muck root mushrooms nutrient bars pickled meal all of that can all be put on here and you can choose whatever spice you want to add and as you choose the different spices the little spice shaker up top does change color so you know what spice is being applied to your food at that station now here comes the tricky part about using the spice maker you need a level two dupe in the cooking skills so you need a grilling dupe in order to actually get this so if we come over here and we look at duplicate skills and we go over to grilling two you will see that you need cuisine plus two spice grinder usage gets unlocked here you also this is where you go through and start to learn how to do some of the other things that you can make in the game but right now i don't have a dupe that can do this at the moment which is why nothing is being spiced yet as soon as you do unlock that ability they will start spicing things but guys that's enough about kitchens that's pretty much everything you guys need to know about them they're not that hard to unlock you guys can go through unlock these and get yourself a kitchen built to improve everything about your little asteroid base the must as you can but let's hop over let's talk about story and then we'll go through every single thing that was updated in this most recent update okay so you guys want to know how to get access to the stories well it's actually super easy you just collect select a regular game go ahead i'm going to load into classic and then right here there is a new tab right here called story traits now right now there are only two story traits you can add in and you can choose if you want both or one or none activated at any time now what this means is that you literally have the selection to customize your game even more now so if we were to go through and we were to look at the Sinoleum synthesizer what this story is is it's a power-up of a colossal relic found in the gravitas underground sleep lab when duplicates sleep their minds are blissfully blank and dream free but under the right conditions things could be different so this goes through and adds a large 
brain mechanism in the game that you could go through and use and it is found inside of a giant sleep lab that is underground so you could go ahead and find this if you so want to or you could get the critter uh, fluxomatic which explore revolutionary genetic manipulation device designed for creatures whether or not it was used on non critter subjects is unclear its dna database has been wiped clean so in other words it's a way to go through and edit and mess with your tamed creatures that are inside of your base but both of these like i said are able to be adjusted moved around turned on or off if you so want them so go through and give them a try now let's go over and let's check out the notes that they put into steam to go over everything that was updated so far Okay guys, so here we are on Steam looking at the Sweet Dreams update. That is the name of this update that they put out and I thought we'd go through and read a little bit more about it. Now there is an animated short that's right here that you guys can go and watch for yourself by either going over to the Cleet um, channel or you can just go ahead and watch it right on the Steam page as well. But it says, hello everyone, the Street Dreams update is out today, which was actually yesterday, but it came out. And the first installment of their new series of ongoing updates. We want you to know why we made the switch to constant updates, uh, consistent updates, instead of making a second DLC. And it is right here. So more or less, they wanted to stop with the DLCs and actually just make more to the base game, which I believe is a fantastic choice. Making it so you would put out those free content updates for everyone to be able to enjoy your game more, puts people back into the game again, more updates equals more things to do, pulling everybody back in. It's just a very powerful thing, and I'm so happy that Oxygen Not Included decided to go down this path instead. So, first of all, they added the story trade system. We already went over that. It is... Just the beginning of it. They're pretty excited about their two first story traits, but I want to point out it does say their first two, not their only two, their first two. So there's going to be even more story traits that are going to be coming more and more and more in the future, and I'm super excited to be checking those out as well. The new room and building, so the duplicates in all versions of the game can now enhance their food with delicious add additives. We've added a new kitchen room, which enables the use of the new spice grinder. So, like I was just showing you guys, that new room, that new building has been added to the game as well. You guys can use that. Spice mixes are produced at the grinder, can be sprinkled onto certain meals to improve things like shelf life, duplicate strength, and more and more. We went over the four different types of seasonings that I could find so far, but there could be even more in the future. Okay, so going down other cool things in the space stout, the plug slugs have gotten some tuning changes including a new refined metal diet and their species their species has grown to include two new morphs, the unbreathable gas guzzling smog slug and the wick liquid inhaling uh, sponge slug. So two new creatures that were added there, two critters that were really now well, it's nice to have more things, right? I always thought that. Um, also, critters in all versions of the game now uh, queue for ranching, the build menu showing room requirement info, and we've put an end to the total anarchy of multiple meteor showers sometimes happening all at once. So that's fantastic. No more death by meteor shower. Okay, let's go over the highlights really quick here, guys. So all versions added story trait systems out of the Salonium and the Critter Fluxomatic story traits. They added the kitchen room type Type, and it added a spice grinder, added freshener spice, brawny spice, mechanist spice, as well as the rocketeering spice. Uh, enabled re renaming rockets. So if you guys want to rename your rockets, that's now done as well. They fixed a number of transit tube bugs. And then inside of spaced out only, they added smog sludge, sp slugs and sponge slug. Uh, critter morphs as well as the rocketeer spice is to the grinder as well if you guys are playing the spaced out version so that's what i was showing you guys earlier if you guys want to see all four spices that's how you're gonna have to do it so they've added a new story trait system and with two new story traits a kitchen room a spice grinder and two new plug slug morphs along with a bunch of other improvements and bug fixes and there's even more information there's a whole bunch of uh information inside of the bug fixes in the patch notes that are below if you guys want to read those you guys can go over and check out their official forums i'm not going to be reading through all of them for you guys here but guys that is the update to auction not included they have slapped in a brand new update that gives us the sweet dreams update 
and adds story traits, new rooms, new buildings, and all sorts of other cool things for all of you to go check out inside of Auction Not Included. But thank you guys all so much for watching this one. If you liked it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe today and leave me a comment down below of other games you guys would like to see me cover for update videos or just going through in general and seeing what they're all about. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.